Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much indeed for attending this. Uh, the exposes an additional two to three hundred thousand people to annual flooding. Um, glacier loss from year to year. If you sum up all the loss of ice that we had, you can show. Now, 2024. Um, we lost 450 gigatons from all the glaciers together. It was not the most extreme year, but it was ranked number four uh, of the years with most gla glacier mass loss. And if you look at the past years, we actually had like the five most negative years on record we did have in the past six years. So you see this increasing dramatic um, glacier loss from year to year. We had an increasing uh, loss by glacier ice year by year by year, accumulating in this incredible number of about 9,000 gigatons of ice lost since 1975. Now, this is just a huge number and hard to imagine. Um, so, again, if you take um, the example of Germany, um, it would be an ice block of the size of Germany with a thickness of 25 meters. That is the ice that we lost since 1975 from glaciers. Glaciers together. It was not the most extreme year, but it was ranked number four. Uh, and so accumulated again, this is about 25 millimeters of sea level rise, or currently a bit more than one millimeter each year. Now you might say one millimeter is not exactly a lot, doesn't sound much, right? But it's a small number with a big impact. Each additional millimeter of sea level rise exposes an additional two to three hundred thousand people to annual flooding. <laughs> So that's bad news. Glaciers might disappear on the current um, melting rates in, within this century. Um, but there's a second bad news. Even if these glaciers are gone, the glacier melt continues in the polar regions, will kick in, and so will continue to melt uh, and, and further increase sea levels uh, together with the ice sheets in the next centuries. Really, every tenth of a degree of warming that we can avoid uh, will prevent us from 2.5 millimeter of sea level rise from glaciers alone. And again, which prevents about 500,000 of people from exposure to annual flooding. Please introduce yourself by, uh, by, by uh, affiliation. Oh, and, and but globally, we, we can say we have some 275,000 glaciers left disappearing quickly. And um, in total, the glaciers together with the ice <coughs> masses on the ice shelves of Greenland as well as Antarctica, it's about 70% of all the fresh water is stored in, in the ice mass. Important to know it is that WMO uh, only last month declared 2024 as the warmest year on record after a number of record-breaking uh, month with highest uh, temperatures and um, we can negotiate many things and here at the UN we, we love to negotiate many things but we cannot negotiate physical laws and one is the melting point of ice. This is unnegotiable and then in, an increasing warm and cl warming climate is uh, c contributing to more uh, ice as well as snow melt. It's putting at risk the water supplies, it's putting at risk food security, energy, energy security, 
as well as the ecosystem services that, that water resources and other resources provide. But you shouldn't also forget the, the, the social, the cultural, as well as the uh, spiritual values glaciers have. Preserving glaciers is not only an environmental uh, imperative, it's really a survival strategy. We need to advance our scientific knowledge, we need to advance us through better observing systems, through better forecasts, and better early warning systems for, uh, for the planet and the people. Um, only then we can protect our water supplies, the livelihoods of people, as well as ecosystems for future generations.